For Jokovic fans, it's finally the time to celebrate. The man has been having a tough season, and it looks like things are finally falling into place. After missing out on not one or two, but multiple tournaments, he will be participating in one of his favorite events without any problems. Let's discuss how Novak Jokovic is very happy after being granted a visa to play in the Australian Open. Starting with the ban being lifted. Novak Jokovic is our favorite tennis player player from Serbia and was forced to skip the 2022 Australian Open because he was unvaccinated, but he will be permitted to play in the tournament in 2023. The Australian government recently announced that a visa would be issued for Jokovic to visit the nation. He was banned from entering Australia for three years after his deportation ahead of the 2022 Australian Open, but Australian Immigration Minister Andrew Giles has reversed that decision. Giles confirmed to the Associated Press in a statement that Jokovic will be granted a tourist visa to visit Australia. Giles said in his statement that if the person satisfies the minister, the ground for canceling the visa no longer exists. Getting vaccinated before visiting Australia is no longer a must. This obviously works out well for our Serbian king. He also added, just because a cancellation of a visa is reversed does not imply the first decision to cancel was flawed. It was then reported that Mr. Jokovic had been given a tourist visa to visit Australia. Up next, here's what Noel had to say. The Serbian king was pretty happy, and we love seeing him finally get the love and respect he deserves. Jokovic also made a statement in response to the verdict, in which he expressed relief at being cleared to compete in the 2019 event, which will begin on January 16th. The Serbian exclaimed his delight at the news he had received the day before. Knowing what happened to me and the people closest to me in Australia, and after Australia this year, it was a relief. I have had the greatest success in the Australian Open compared to any other Grand Slam tournament. Those times were among the most memorable in my life. I'd love to spend another Australian summer doing what I love, playing tennis. Former Immigration Minister Alex Hawke decided to revoke Jokovic's visa because permitting him to play while unvaccinated may lead to public upheaval at the time of the first ban. The vaccination requirement for foreigners has been waived ever since. Moving on, here's what the authorities were claiming a couple of months back. Australian Open director Craig Tiley stated in October that Jokovic would be welcome at the tournament in 2023 if he received a visa from the government. At this point, Novak and the federal government need to work out the situation, and then we will follow any instruction after that, Tiley said. He said they can't really lobby on the situation a lot, since it's between the player and the government officials. Depending on that outcome, Novak might not participate in the tournament. The Serb won his 10th Australian Open in 2021. However, he was unable to defend his crown the following year. Instead, Rafael Nadal claimed victory, giving him his second career Grand Slam title. He did very well in the French Open and Wimbledon in 2022, despite being unable to compete in the Australian Open and the US Open that year. Noel was knocked out of the French Open by Nadal in the semifinals, although he did win his eighth Wimbledon championship. Not to forget all the drama that came before this ban lift. Because of his reluctance to have the COVID-19 vaccination, Jokovic's 2022 season was wrapped in controversy. His problems started in Australia when he entered under the false impression that he had a valid visa, but was instead deported and given a three-year travel restriction. According to former immigration minister Alex Hall, Jokovic being allowed inside the country might lead to an uprising of anti-vaccination parties who might ask for the bans on them to be lifted as well. The minister also believes that this might lead to protests and rallies, which might end up being the cause of community transmission of the disease. Because of concerns over his immunization record, Jokovic would miss a significant portion of the 2022 season. The strict immunization requirements of the United States prevented him from entering the country and as a result, he missed the U.S. Open and other major competitions. Jokovic started the year as a top player in the world, but he is now ranked 7th. He said that he doesn't want to dwell on the past. He told reporters in September that he feels terrible about not being able to compete in the U.S. Open, but it was a choice that he made for himself, and that's all he needs to feel happy about it at the end of the day. What's more, he missed playing as well. Due to his unwillingness to have the COVID-19 
vaccination. Novak Djokovic could only compete in one match in the 2022 season and could not attend other tournaments, including the Australian Open, BNP Paribas Open, and Miami Open. Later, the 34-year-old expressed a desire to resume a more regular schedule. He admitted to the reporters that he missed the competition and that he still wants nothing more than to play on the tour and go up against the top players in the game for the biggest titles and trophies. Since being deported, he has seen Rafael Nadal win that match, increasing his Grand Slam total to 21. One more than both Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer, and has lost his number one ranking, which he had held for two years in February. He also severed ties with Marion Vajda, his longtime coach, capping a 15-year collaboration. In Monaco, Djokovic said, The last four, five months have been incredibly difficult for me mentally and emotionally, but here I am, and I try to leave all that behind and go on. Djokovic had a great year in 2021, going 55-7 and seven, and winning five singles championships, including the French Open, Australian Open, and Wimbledon. The first calendar sweep of the Grand Slams for a man since Rod Laver accomplished the feat in 1969 was denied to him when he fell to Daniil Medvedev in the US Open Final. Noel, along with Federer and Nadal, made up one-third of the greatest men's tennis trio of all time when he was on the court. In the future, he hopes to play on the court more frequently. Next, there is more drama revolving around Noel. Andy Roddick, a former professional, said that despite being named the year's final number one player for 2022, Carlos Alcaraz wasn't the best player in the world. When Rafael Nadal and Stefano Tsitsipas were ousted from the race for number one during the ATP Finals, the US Open winner earned the top spot for the season. However, Roddick thinks Novak Djokovic is currently the best player and that the ranking is not a genuine representation. After Nadal and Tsitsipas' opening round losses at the ATP Finals, sealed Alcaraz's fate, he appeared unexpectedly in Turin on Wednesday to claim his year-end number one title. Due to an injury, the 19-year-old had to withdraw from the championships that would complete the season. Despite being ranked first in the world, the six-time champion has now been informed that he is not the best player in the world. Former world number one, Andy Roddick claimed that it would be difficult to find anyone who did not believe Djokovic was the true leader. The 2003 US Open winner praised Alcaraz, saying, This boy's progress has been rapid, and definitely he passes the test of someone who is going to win many Grand Slams. Finally, Novak should be ready for some competition in the Australian Open. Andy said, To get to number one so quickly, that's a different story. But the American acknowledged that, in his opinion, Djokovic was still the better player and that the number one rivalry would intensify in the 2023 campaign when the Serb would play in the Australian Open once again. He said, And as we look forward to next year, I think it will be hard to find someone who doesn't think Novak Djokovic is the best player in the world. As a result of his vaccination status, the current number eight in the world could not compete in this year's Australian Open and US Open, and the ATP stripped him of all ranking points at Wimbledon, the only major he won. As the nine-time down-under winner will have no points to defend when he returns to his most successful major, the competition for the top ranking will once again heat up now that Djokovic has received confirmation that he can travel to Australia in January. Roddick did, however, admit that Alcaraz deserved to be ranked first for the time being. That's a wrap for this video. So, what did you think of finally allowing Noel to play in Australia? Do you think it was the right decision or not? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.